welcome back to the channel. Here we are in Grand Prix 3 looking at the weather forecast because in this game that is a thing. Indeed, uh, just wanted to take a break from our, our very, 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 very serious Grand Prix 2 season with all the stress and tension and hardcoreness and just try to record a single race in Grand Prix 3. And I can tell you it's been a pain in the ass. Uh, it's a lot trickier than what you might think, but here we are, and we're having a 50% distance race uh, in mixed conditions uh, at one of my favorite circuits, uh, Austria A1 ring, obviously nowadays known as uh, the Red Bull ring. So if this recording works, this will probably be the format for the GP3 season to come once we're done with the GP2 season. Uh, so, unfortunately, no live streams with GP3 because I have to run the game with Windows XP and as far as I know, there's no way to live stream with XP without the capture card or something. And I'm not getting one. So yeah, here here's the situation. We have weather forecast. Uh, race is going to start in rainy conditions and the rain should stop somewhere around 30 minutes or so. Uh, I'm going to take a one-stop strategy. We're going to stop at lap 24. So we'll have a little bit uh, of uh, wiggle room in case the track happens to dry dry out and we have to switch to uh, dry tires. Other than that I'm pretty much running a uh, stock setup. Here's the car setup. I think I'm, I'll add one click to the rear wing just to make the car a little bit more balanced. But other than that, we should be good to go. Uh, today Friedrich Bang is driving a Benetton starting from the back of the grid. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I will see you in the cockpit. And here we are. We shall soon see if Friedrich Bang is a rainmaster or not. Only had one race in wet conditions in the Grand Prix series so far in, in the YouTube series and that was in Grand Prix 1 obviously because there's no wet weather in Grand Prix 2 and that didn't go very well. Easy, easy. Okay, we made up a lot of positions there. We're ninth at the moment, so the AI was super slow in the first corner. Let's take it easy. Okay, there's a crash in front. A little bit of a bump. And we're fifth! That was amazing. <laughs> Yeah, only one race in wet conditions, and that was in Grand Prix 1, and uh, in Adeline, and if I recall, we survived for one lap, then we were dead, we died, but in that game, the wet weather is ridiculously difficult, it's a lot easier, and better made in this one, obviously. It's a lot of fun to drive, it's very scary, but a lot of fun at the same time. Just have to respect the car and it will be very easy with the throttle. Eddie Irvine currently in the lead. First corner is very, very tricky. I really don't like it too much. Very easy to lose the rear. There's a weird bump in the middle of the corner. But Jordan seems to be quite a bit faster than me, but we're, we'll try to defend the best we can. All right, lap two and we're still alive. Even though it's a 50% race, it's going to be a 
very long race in these conditions. The game eats up all my concentration, so obviously the commentary might not be the best. As it never is in this channel. When we'll start the season in this game, I will probably uh, add the wheel cam as well, because you just see my steering inputs a lot better from there, even though there is... Okay, Jean Alessi in the pits. Even there is a turning wheel in this game, but it doesn't show all the steering inputs as, as well I w as I would have hoped. It's a little bit rough. We'll see if the conditions will change. If this was a 100% race, they would change. The rain is due to stop at some point. But I don't know actually how it works in the 50% races. Like, is, it, is the weather forecast compressed by the length of the race, or is it one-to-one -one with the timetable? I do not remember, it's been like 20 years since I played this game. It's very easy to lose, lose the rear when you exit the hairpins. If you even look at the throttle, wrong. It will kill you. Bad entry there. completely there. We're going to be vulnerable for the hairpin because we're so slow in the first corner. No, I think we're fine. I hope that it, it'll stop raining and dry out because it would be fun to have some mixed conditions in the race and if the conditions change I just hope that they fit into our pit schedule as well as possible. Okay. Here comes Williams and he got by. That's annoying. Had a very bad lap there. didn't defend it well enough. Now I have a Jordan in my mirrors. David Coulthard, fastest lap. I wonder if the track is getting faster. The 
Williams is actually walking away a little bit here. Just trying not to overdrive it because it's so easy to pin the car. Ralph Schumacher out of the race and I am in the wrong gear. But we made it through the corner. middle sector is very good for us, but the final sector is bad, and the first sector is bad as well. Oops, almost lost it. I have to... Johnny Herbert behind me, he's driving a steward, right? Yeah, I have to be careful with the first corner. I, I should brake a little bit earlier, just to be safe. I just saw a little patch of blue sky there. A very poor lap time once again. And almost lost the rear. The curb unsettled the car a little bit there and got a poor exit. Yeah, I don't think there's any blue patches in the sky. I'm running pretty much the stock setup, so I didn't do anything to it. I just added, I think, one one click to the rear wing just to have the rear kind of balanced. Oh, it's my teammate behind me. Okay. He is currently faster, but I'm not hearing any team orders. <laughs> oh man. And he got by. Oh, 
a little hit there. And I lost it. Damn it. Alright, that's a, that's a bad day for Benetton. Oh dear. Takagi out of the race. Sorry, everyone. I don't know if that was my fault, though. <laughs> Friedrich Bang causing an accident. But we're still alive! Uh, the tires might be quite dirty after that. Yeah, I don't think Flavio is going to be very happy. <laughs> That's what you get when you hire Friedrich Bang. Okay, there goes the Physico to the pits, preparing his car. Just try to finish the race. That's that's the main goal here. Oh man, very poor driving at the moment. Trying to short shift it a little bit so that the wheels don't spin too much. Esteban Tuero out of the race. He drove a minority that season, didn't he? Some little blue spots in the sky. I don't know if they mean anything or not. slide there. The slides are very subtle. I don't know if they are very well visible in the video.
Once again, very bad last sector and very bad lap time, of, of course. It's Pedro Diniz in front and Mika Salo behind. So we are in the middle of an arrows a sandwich at the moment and I think there's a minority back there overtaking. Surprisingly high in the order. So far it seems that Friedrich Bang is a very mediocre rain driver. a little bit here. I don't know why that is. It's, it's, it's just my driving that's getting worse. I'm a bit surprised we're not able to catch Denise in front. But at the same time I don't want to take any stupid risks because it's so easy to end your race. I should take more curb in the final corner. It's a lot faster that way. Already lap number 15 and the rain doesn't seem to stop. Okay, great. Now it's Michael Schumacher behind us. That's bad news. And that's also bad news. That was a that was an amazing save. Now I wish I had put on the wheel cam. Because I, I did some severe maneuvers there and, and you don't really see it too well. With the in-game racing wheel. in way too hot there and almost lost it a lot of hands in the cockpit during that lap and we lost the position to Schumacher unfortunately I don't have a lot of confidence to the car. And 
I think our little spin uh, didn't really wasn't wasn't too too good for the tires. That lap was better, and Takagi versus Schumacher in front, and Takagi wins. Apparently, they came together, and okay, here comes Schumacher again. Yeah, the AI really defends very aggressively in this game. But I don't think it's too much. You can still compete against them pretty pretty nicely if you're careful. And now we're gaining on Denise. Quite a bit, actually. I wonder if he had some damage. No way to overtake here. Apparently he did not have any damage because he didn't go to the pits. Drove it a little bit there. Now I have to defend against Schumacher. I don't know if there's any points. But Friedrich Bang doesn't give up positions that easily. I just lost the rear of the car and now we're pretty much doomed. No, we're not. Managed to hold on to the position. Denise is very slow in the mid sector. And it seems that we managed to get the move done. But now we screwed up the final corner. Come on, Benetton. Okay. Uh, an un unbelievable dive bomb by Schumacher. Luckily, I, I watched out for it. Oops. Locked the wheels. Hacking and in the pits. We still got uh, eight laps of fuel. So we have a little bit of wiggle room. John Newhouse in the pits. I guess we all know who that is. <laughs> oh man, Jack Villeneuve with his licensed name. Olivier Pony in the pits, everyone's pitting now. Uh, 
And is that actually... it's Mika Salo now behind us. I see quite a bit of blue sky. This might be getting interesting. Uh, one faster flap. I don't think the track is going to dry before our pit stop. Especially when the rain is still not stopping. No sign of it anyway, except a little bit of blue skies. slow through there. Have to pay more attention. And I'm seeing frames dropping in my recording so I'll have to check out if the recording is still alright so be right back. And we're back. So yeah, the recording seemed to be alright. And we can continue on with the race. I have to check these things because I'm running the game with, with Windows XP on a very very old computer. And the hard drive space is an issue because I have to record, uh, record this in raw format, so it's like... One gigabyte per minute or more. Because uh, this old computer... Uh, weird glitches there. This old computer is not powerful enough to uh, compress the, the video files on, on fly. Now, they are wanting us to go to the pits already. I guess it's already lap number 22. 22. So, I, I, I guess we'll pit then. I don't think we should go to the dry, dry tires. Because the rain doesn't seem to be stopping. We'll see what they su suggest. Just take it easy. And Friedrich Bang is in the pits. Here we are. And there we go. Okay, they're putting on the intermediate tire, so I guess the track should be a little bit drier then. Hopefully that's the right call. We will find out very soon indeed. We're 13th, and it feels very slippy. Yep, 
yeah, I guess there's enough grip. So I, I guess that's our all, that that was the right call to to make. The, the tactical side of things is a lot more complicated now when we have weather. The, the car actually feels quite alright now with the intermediates. patches on the on the road that are a little bit drier I think but I don't think it's going to dry out completely even if the rain would stop because well I guess it depends if, if it starts to shine then the track dries a lot sooner but if it remains cloudy it will be a bit slower Someone just went to the pits in front of us. And that was physical. I think there's a quite a bit more creep on the track right now. So I feel the conditions are changing a little bit. Yeah, no more wheel spin at the fourth gear. But still have to be super careful. Lap number 26, and we are still alive. And I think there's a Ferrari behind us. Yeah, we're, we're getting the blue flag, so... We're being lapped. That's unfortunate. Very nearly lost the rear of the car once again.
How's that? Already blocking, even though we're... Oh my god! We're not even near him yet. I don't know if air wash is a thing in this game, but I, I certainly felt like... Oh, it stopped raining suddenly. Interesting. This is very interesting indeed. It's still raining here though. Bye bye Rosette. He's surprisingly high in the order. This is very interesting. It's indeed uh, stopped raining at least at some parts of the track. But there's only like 12 laps remaining. I don't think the track is going to dry enough for dry tires. It might be dry, uh, dry at the very end of the race, but then at that point I think you really lose too much time with a pit stop. But we'll see. We'll see how it unfolds. Oops! Suddenly the grip was very bad through there. I don't know why. Sure, the, the, the track cannot be so dry that... Oh, Johnny Herbert out of the race. Yeah, it can't be too dry for intermediates yet. We have Jarno Trulli in front, 8 seconds ahead. Let's see if we can gain on him. He has a yellow flag. Okay, I didn't see anything. But we're 11th at the moment. Uh, did we just gain a position? I don't know what's going on. Okay, the track is clearly becoming a lot faster now. Truly six seconds ahead now, so we are gaining actually pretty rapidly. And it is almost shining here. Very interesting changing conditions here. The 
the creep through the fast corners is a lot worse than it was before. I wonder if the intermediates are overheating there. Everywhere, everywhere else the creep seems to be better. And we're gaining truly really fast. I think he's on the wrong tire or something. Okay, I'm getting the blue flags once again. Front runner coming through. It's, uh, it's a McLaren. Alesi behind me. Two seconds behind. I guess that's... Hakkinen behind us. Still no dry line. there. Oh, come on, McLaren. Go by. That's weird. The McLaren seems to be too slow. slow out of the corners to overtake us. I wonder if, if he is also on a wrong tire. It's funny how the AI starts to block even though you are miles away. That was a nice overtake. And also almost lost it. Concentrate, concentrate. Defend. Oh man, what a mess. Oh dear, overshot it. And Alesi got by. Damn it. Whoa, once again the damn bump in that corner messed me up. So we gained the place and we lost the place. Still 11th.
There's a little dry patch there, but only two and a half laps to go. So unfortunately we're not getting to the point where the track will be dry in this race. Oh man, it's so sleepy there. Distracted by the dry line. Oh, it was actually DC who was lapping us there. Yeah, Alessi is way faster. Flags once again. Oh, and the race is over. Eddie Irvine takes a win. Number two in Ferrari. One more mistake by Friedrich Bang. And after a very, very mediocre race, we finish 11th. Well, at least we survived. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun indeed. Uh, interesting conditions, for sure. Unfortunately, we didn't get to experience the complete trans transition to dry weather, but I'm sure the time will come when we'll have that once we once we start our, our, our season with Grand Prix 3. But anyway, let's go and uh, check out the uh, results of the race. Alright, here we are. Let's uh, check out the results. Here it is. Eddie Irvine takes the win. Then the McLaren, Coulthard, Hacken and Hill, Frensen and John Newhouse. Uh, I'm not changing this name. I think it's kind of amusing to have John Newhouse around. Uh, Schumacher, Barrichello, Pani, Alesi and Friedrich Bang. 11th. One lap behind. And four retirements in the race. Let's check out the best lap times. 13th. So we didn't have a fantastic pace here today, but at least we su survived the race and I got some experience of the wet weather. As I said before, it's been like 20 years I've played this game. So <laughs> it's about time. And yeah, hopefully the recording went alright. Uh, I guess I'll see you in the next episode of Grand Prix 2 season, where it's uh, the French Grand Prix of 1994, so we'll we'll see you there. I'll I'll be very very busy with work for the next month or so, but I'll get it done and I'll get it done and see you on the live stream there. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.